Hello everybody, nice to see you here again. Okay, you remember this book? The Treasury of Teddy Bear Tales. We've already read some and I found another one I want to read with you. It's called The Wild Bears. Before he set off for the day, young Jack Alabaster stood his two teddy bears by the door. Keep guard while we are gone, he said sternly. But he was being watched. Five wild teddy bears were hiding behind the potting shed. Five naughty teddy bears looking for somewhere to live. Five hungry teddy bears looking for something to eat. There were big bear, medium bear, two small bears and a tiny little baby bear called Grub. As soon as the family had gone, the five wild teddy bears marched straight up to the house and knock, knock, knocked on the big front door. You can't come in, said the two tame teddies. But those five wild teddy bears marched right inside as bold as can be. First, they went into the kitchen. I spy honey, cried Big Bear. They rubbed their teddy bear tummies and licked their teddy bear lips and rolled their teddy bear eyes as Big Bear reached for the pot. You can't do that, cried the two tame teddies. Don't worry, said Big Bear, we won't make a mess. But they did, and the little bear called Grub made the biggest mess of all. Next, the five wild teddy bears marched upstairs and straight into Jack Alabaster's very own room. Toys! cried the medium bear. You can't play with those! screamed the two tame teddies. Don't worry, said the big bear. We won't break anything. But they did. Then those five wild teddy bears marched straight downstairs, through the hall, out the back door and into the garden. Oh, look at those lovely flowers, cried the two small bears. You mustn't pick them, warned the two tame teddies. Don't worry, said the big bear. We won't pick many. But they did. And the tiny little bear called Grub picked every one of Mr. Alabaster's prize daisies and hung them around his neck. Oh, you naughty bears, cried the two tame teddies in a fury. But the five wild bears just marched round and round the garden, through the back door, down the hall and up the stairs. Bath time, said Big Bear. And in the second, the five wild teddies were all in the bath, rubbing and scrubbing and washing their fur, cleaning their ears and scrubbing their backs and splashing water everywhere. The two tame teddies had never seen such a mess. When they were dry, the five wild teddy bears made five hot water bottles and carried them upstairs. They got straight into Jack Galabaster's very own bed and fell fast asleep. You can't sleep here, cried the two tame teddies. But they could and they did. And the tiny little bear called Grub slept the soundest of all. But very soon there was a slamming noise and a clicking noise and an opening and a closing. Big Bear woke up with a start. They're back, he cried. And the wild teddies jumped out of bed and ran helter-skelter down the stairs and through the hall and out of the door and back behind the potting shed. Phew, said the Big Bear. Phew, said Medium Bear. Phew, said the two small bears together. But the tiny little baby bear called Grub said nothing at all, for he wasn't there. From downstairs, Grub heard Mr. Alabaster cry, Just look at my garden! Who's been picking my flowers? It wasn't us, said the two tame teddies, that nobody heard. And who's been eating the honey? cried Sophie Alabaster from the kitchen. And who's been bathing in the bath and splashing water everywhere? said Mrs. Alabaster. 
Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, sighed the two tame teddies. And very, very close to Grub, Jack Alabaster cried, Somebody's broken my space rocket. Then he looked sternly at the two tame teddies. I thought I asked you to keep guard, he said. It was those five wild teddies, said the two tame bears, but their, their, their teddy bear voices were too small to be heard. That night, Jack woke up suddenly. There was a creaking noise. Then to his amazement, he saw the toy cupboard open and a small dark shape scamper across the room to the window and climb out. He leapt out of bed just in time to see five small shadows at the bottom of, uh, of the ivy. And in the light of the moon, the five small shadows turned into five wild teddy bears. So that's who broke my space rocket, gasped Jack, and picked the flowers, and ate the honey, and flooded the bathroom, said the two tame teddies, and we couldn't make them stop. As they watched from the window, the five wild bears ran across the lawn towards the forest. And don't come back, shouted the two tame teddies. Don't worry, we won't, said the tiny little bear called Grub. And they never did. <laughs> what a mess they made, didn't they? Wow, I think I would have been pretty angry as well. So, goodbye from the Treasure of Teddy Bear Tales. And goodbye for Mr. C. You take care now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.